What are you doing? You <laughs> <laughs> know, I got you on candy camera now. We're just cuddling. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's another beautiful day. Oh my gosh, this is like the only upside of winter here is that if it does snow, that means that we'll most likely have blue skies. Can I just say, no disrespect to anyone that lives in snowy states, <laughs> but I freaking hate snowy. <laughs> <laughs> but we did have a good time yesterday. Um, I think it made us change our mind about snow just a little bit, but we still are ready for it to leave. <laughs> yeah, it was super fun actually. Like, I think the snow is fun when you're like you prep for it and you go out and you mm -hmm. just have a blast. But it's a difference of like prepping and going out for fun and then living in it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we know how to live in it, and that's the problem. Yeah. Neither one of us have ever lived in like full on snowy states. Like, isn't this a snowy state? This isn't, I don't think this is considered a snowy oh. state. If, I mean, if you live like up in the mountains, it's definitely snowy every year, but like here it doesn't, it's not guaranteed that it will snow every year. Okay. Cool. Um, but like places like Utah, Idaho, Utah, Idaho, Montana. New York, like they all like definitely snow and like are just hit with snow every year. Yeah. And it's usually throughout the whole winter, right? Well, we've never lived in a state like that before. <laughs> so, um, we just don't know how to live in it and it can be very frustrating sometimes. Like. Mm -hmm. I haven't been taking Luna out for walks. I've been making him because I'm like, I don't even know how to walk a dog in snow. Uh, you do that even when it's not snowing. <laughs> you hear her? It's a nice sound <laughs> Um, What are you off to do? So about to work. It's been kind of spotty because I said it didn't work because it was like really snowy. But I feel like when the snow is like slush and like the streets are good, like I can drive and work. So it's kind of hard because my job does require me to drive with door dashing so i'm gonna test it out today should go really well um yeah they pay extra during the holidays so like Perfect. it's easier to make more money which is really good and then i don't know if star told you yet probably not but we're kind of contemplating with the idea in like four or five months to get rid of our car oh yeah so, <laughs> so instead of door dashing a car i might just be door dashing on like a scooter like um, a moped, a moped with like you know spot to store the food, and uh, we'll see how that goes because we're like we're spending money on like car insurance and car maintenance and gas, and it's like if we had a moped, then while we're in LA, like the traffic would be easier to deal with, less for gas, yeah, and less for car insurance, and so I don't know. We well, always have a new plan. Yeah, seriously, always, always thinking. We're just ready to move to California, like, really badly. I thought you said, no, Star said, just told me she wanted to stay here a little bit. No, I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm grateful that I'm here in Seattle. It was like a perfect goodbye because it made me realize that I really don't want to live here anymore. <laughs> it's really hard when you move away and then try to move back. It's really hard trying to deal with like the gloominess. I've actually been doing pretty well though. I think yeah. I mentally prepared myself that it was going to be really dark. And because of that, I think I've been handling it pretty well. But yeah, it sucks when it's the winter time. It is awful. <laughs> I will say though, because of last year, well, the last couple of years, it was hit hard, and it's definitely like going downhill. But I believe in it. I really like think that it will like turn up again. And I don't know. I just think that's what happens to cities is that it has a downhill little part in in life. Like for a couple of years, it might go downhill a little, but I feel like they always recover. Um, but I don't know, it's kind of sad to me and very disappointing the amount of people I've met that are like, yeah, no, Seattle's doomed. Like, it's never going to go back to normal. <laughs> and I'm like, do you seriously not have any hope? Like, that's so sad to live your life with no hope. <laughs> I think it's funny because I'm from L.A. and like in L.A., the, like Seattle is a better city like than L.A. I feel like go visit. If you go to downtown L.A., like it's not like it's not as big it's not crazy with a whole lot of stuff to do there's a lot to do in downtown seattle i feel like and the culture of it it's like really it's a big big city um so like when they're like yeah it's, yeah seattle's downhill and i'm like 
it looks way better than like downtown LA. Like, I don't know. I what. think it's just because a lot of businesses had to shut down last year, um, and I think everybody just has this image of like the whole thing that happened in Capitol Hill last year. And so everyone who doesn't come to the city very often, I feel like they just have that image in their head of like what they saw in the news, and they're just like, oh, Seattle's just like in really bad condition. But I like we live in Capitol Hill, and it's like fine. Seriously, it's not like it used to be a couple of years back when I lived here, like in high school you know, six years ago. But th my main reason why it's not the same is because there's just a lot of cute businesses that I love to go into mm, that are shut down. There. And that I mean, sense. that's because of the economy and everything that happened, you know, and that's to be expected. Mm. But I feel like the people who live in Seattle genuinely love it here. And we all have hope that like it will start to build itself up again. But I don't know. I mean, other than that, I feel like it's not that different yeah i feel like it's fine like everything is open and I feel like there's just a bunch oh. of negative nancy's out there <laughs> i gotta head out to work but it's always good to chat with you people all right bye babe, bye, babe. Mm. now it's just me <laughs> and then there was the one. start of the show <laughs> just kidding I just finished a little self-portrait session i was using um the ladder as well, the ladder and the shadows as part of the set. And I thought I would just show you some of the results. Oops, sorry, wrong way. I just felt like doing a quick shoot because I did my makeup today. I wasn't going to do my makeup today because I was like, you know what? I just, it's nice to just let my face breathe. I'm not going anywhere. Like I'm not going to work or anything. So not, why not just let it breathe? But then I was like, you know what? I kind of feel like doing my makeup. And I did a fun little like orange on top, blue on the bottom. Guys, I'm having so much fun with doing my makeup and I'm so sorry if you're watching this and you really don't care about makeup, but um, I'm having fun with it. Anyway, honestly spent most of today working. I put in an extra day of work because I just had a lot that had to get done and it was stressing me out. I don't know what kind of workers you guys are, but I just, I easily get stressed out. And my boss texted me yesterday asking me if I got, you know, everything done. And if, I don't know, there was like something that wasn't like exactly how she imagined it. And it instantly just got me super stressed out and honestly kind of ruined my day. But that's just because that's just the kind of person I am. It's not that she like purposely made me feel that way. She was just asking a question, but the type of person I am, I like get stressed out and get super worked up and I feel like I just suck at my job. And yeah, I don't know. Um, I know that there's people out there that can relate. <laughs> not fun being this type of person but it's even it's like 10 times worse though right now with this job because I actually really respect my boss for once like normally I don't really care like who my boss is but my boss currently she's someone that I really look up to and I really respect so when I feel like I'm like not doing my job the way I should be or the way that I know I could be doing it I get really hard on myself <laughs> So I woke up this morning and the first thing I did was open my computer and just got to work and I worked until about 12.30 and now I feel better. But I realized today, I was like, oh shoot, I need to come up with a ton of choreography for my classes and I'm also teaching the adult hip hop class for January. So I need to come up with a class plan for that and well, hello. And recital is next and so i need to start brainstorming some music it's really hard with hip-hop i have explained this to you guys before it's so difficult finding hip-hop music that is clean but i feel like is a good representation of hip-hop culture it's just so hard because most hip-hop music that you find is explicit and um yeah anyway so it's just really hard like teaching at a family dance studio and trying to find clean music but i am determined i will find some really dope music that i feel like does a really good job at showcasing hip-hop culture luna has been loving the sun today she's just been basking in it at one point she was like panting because she was so hot and i kept telling her to get off the bed but she would not listen she just loves the heat as of right now I'm going to try to take advantage of the last little bit of sunlight and see if there's any other content that I can get. Maybe I'll make like a reel or two. But other than that, I don't really know 
what the rest of today is going to entail. I don't know when Angel's getting back either, but I'll keep you guys updated. All right, Angel's home and he looks super cute. He's uh, cuddling with Luna. <gasps> right, you're cuddling with Dad. I had no idea. And we're watching The Office. Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> Oh, well, that cuddle ended very quick. I want to show you guys something. <laughs> I, okay, we're eating these little heart candies. Hey, don't eat it. <laughs> and I'm wearing skeleton. Hey, babe. Oh my gosh, I can take it. I don't care. <laughs> Angel took my candy. Don't dare. <laughs> babe. Stay. How can you, how can you see me? There's a screen. <laughs> All right, so. Okay, so. <laughs> I have these little heart candies, and I have skeletons on my shirt. Don't get any closer, babe. And I was like, babe, look, they have hearts. <laughs> Do you guys want to know my favorite part about being an adult? I will tell you. Babe, you want to hear this? What's that? <laughs> what is it? My favorite thing about being an adult is that I can eat candy right before dinner. <laughs> wow. Wow. And I don't care if my appetite is spoiled because, um, well, I always have an appetite, so. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, tonight we are having this nice seasoned chicken. It's the same chicken from like two nights ago. We're just finishing it off. And then um, this thing that's about to boil over, I'm not quite sure. I think it's rice. Uh, babe? Uh, babe? Uh, 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 lift the cover, lift the cover, lift the cover, lift the cover. I don't cook. So chicken and rice, and we're probably gonna have some veggies with hummus. And of course, <laughs> little heart sour patch kids. And Martinelli. What? The drink. Oh yeah, guys, I keep forgetting that it's New Year's Eve and that we're <laughs> staying up. Well, are we gonna stay up? Uh, I don't think I will. We probably won't stay up, we're lame. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Unless you want to. She can finish watching the Marvel. Let's stay up, yeah, let's yeah. Oh my gosh. I got work tomorrow. Me too, but it's okay. You work from home. <laughs> <laughs> we started watching the marvel movies like from like the okay so let me back up disney plus has the marvel movies in phases so that you can watch it kind of like in order i guess i don't i don't know um but we started that yesterday we only got one movie in <laughs> iron man one <laughs> so tonight we'll probably watch iron man 2 and yeah i don't know It'll probably take us a while to do this okay Go into the fridge, grab the fake champagne. Champagne. Bam. Well, bam. And what cups are we putting them in? Light bulb cups. <laughs> Fun fact, tell them where those came from. So my mom gave these to us. Oh my gosh, you liar. <laughs> <laughs> so no, this is actually from our very first anniversary. I surprised her. We drank the eggnogs out of it. <laughs> All right, babe. Let's do this. Okay, so if you guys didn't know, we don't drink alcohol. So we have uh, Martinelli's sparkling cider. I love it so much. <laughs> it's super good. Actually. I feel like in the Mormon community, this is a very, very <laughs> yeah, popular, <seriously>. well-loved <laughs> drink. Utah all flies off the shelf. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> and then we already told them we're watching Iron Man tonight, right? Mm -hmm. Iron, Iron Man, Man 2. 2. It comes to a point in your marriage where you just start becoming the same person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you just twist, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, you need an opening. Oh, man. Uh oh. Do we not have an opener? <gasps> I guess why would we have an opener? Hey, you should do the pleasures. New year, new year. I literally never open a bottle this way. Okay, we'll do it together. New year, new year. <laughs> They're probably gonna be like this, so silly. <laughs> okay, you know you gotta go. Oh, the other way? Do it, babe. Oh, sheesh.
What? Then you take the cap to the light bulb. Uh, and then you put the cap on top of the light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, that was my first time ever opening like a bottle like that. <laughs> you made me scared of it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, is this actually gonna explode? <laughs> <laughs> then our middle straws. Be kind to the environment, right? As we're drinking out of plastic bottles. <laughs> Even though it's only 7.30. <laughs> mm. For us, it's like... <laughs> Our dinner looks so good. Thanks, babe. Welcome. And Iron Man 2. Hello, <laughs> Good night, guys. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> good night. What's going on here? I'm with my leg. <laughs> oh, Luna. Luna, <laughs> I use more temporary <laughs>